Okay, day two of bottle picking. This time we actually brought shovels and bagged to put any treasures in. And we're gonna try and go a little bit deeper and higher up there. We'll see how it goes. Pretty fun yet day yesterday. This time we'll be a little bit more selective in the treasures we keep. Okay, we're gonna go at that big pile of cars and we'll see what other bottles and things we can find. The whole I spotted a license plate. I'm gonna haul out of there and see how old that is. Uh -huh, Alaska 1960 license plate. I think I'm keeping that. Okay, we made it to the, all of these old cars. That's awesome. There's bottles just everywhere. I just picked up a nice blue fix one or whatever. And that awesome license plate. Sam's found some treasure. Some kind of old hubcap. Okay, I spot a green one embedded in the bank. Amazing strew field. Oh, there's a Coke bottle. Oh, some kind of antique jug. There's tons of stuff. Love these Coca-Cola bottles. Hot, yeah. Well, I climbed this hill and found just tons of antique Coke bottles and different types of bottles. This is just awesome. It really is. Just so much stuff. It's amazing. It's like better than picking mushrooms. I just found a nice big blue Bromo Seltzer. <laughs> and I guess there's lots more. I'm just finding so many pop bottles. This is awesome. <laughs> a giant wall of bottles and stuff just hanging out of it. Like just everywhere. We're finding so many awesome soda bottles and things. Well, that was... a a lot of fun and we saw a lot of things and boy did we get a lot of bottles it was just amazing so many different coke bottles and different weird things we'll wash them up and i'll show off what we got okay here's the haul from our second digging adventure we got a lot we we're a lot more selective this time but we spent a lot more time and went in with backpacks and it was really, really fun. So let's get started. So there's that license plate that we showed in the video. A little Lido toy wheel. Little plastic car. Now this little thing I found, some kind of a jello. I don't know exactly what it's for, but it's Mark Jello. I thought it was pretty cool. All of the white jars. These are, some of them say ponds, so we know that's cold cream. I don't know what exactly the other things are. Knives and forks. Some of these may be silver. I doubt it, but we'll check. Um, blue glass. Sam's keeping all the blue glass for a project. So we're going to keep even the chipped ones from now on, I think. Um, canning jar lid, glass one. Was pretty awesome, no chips or anything. Bunch of little bottles. These are all aspirin bottles, which are cool. Now this is a really unique bottle here with these indentations. I don't know if it had juice or what it was. We got five 1950s Coke bottles. Two different color Fanta bottles. I was pretty happy to see that. Lots of old Coke tall ones. So those must be 60s or 70s. Now this one here is quite unique. As it says gourds. It's hard to kind of see. But I don't know exactly who makes it. I did find another one with better lettering. But I didn't take it because the top was melted. But hopefully I'll find a better one of these next time. Canada dry bottles. Three different ones. Now... Uh, there's a cup 
that's intact, but it was really quite neat. And if we, there's writing on it. Tepka, USA, China. I don't think that's a partnership no more. Another Old Spice bottle. Unfortunately, no writing on it, really. But it's still pretty neat. Um, found another critter. I'll add him to the Bambi collection. Yes, it looks like he's a dog of some kind. We found a few of his feet. But just kind of neat. Um, big V8 hubcap. I kind of looked it up on the internet, and it looks like... Ford and Oldsmobile are the possibilities. Maybe if you know, maybe put it in the comments or something. But I thought that was pretty neat. And if it's from the 30s, that's pretty awesome find. Now these are some unique bottles. And I hope I can find more of these. This one says Pete's, which is really neat. Well, the label or whatever writing is a little war. But check this out. Northern Beast or Bottling Limited, Grand Prairie, Alberta. So that one's got to be pretty hard to find, the Grand Prairie. But that wasn't the only awesome one. This one says tall, and that's really neat. And I thought, oh, that's just different. But the writing on the back, Dawson Creek Beverages, Dawson Creek, BC. So again, that one's got to be pretty hard to come by. I think we'll be using the bottle brush and extra scrubbing this one because it's going into my collection. It's pretty, got to be rare. And this one, which I've seen these kinds of bottles before with this logo, but I think usually there's a buffalo inside. I'm not sure, and I'm not sure if it's soda or if it's um, beer bottles. But pretty neat. And really... The last find was this old rusty kind of jug. I think I'm going to put it in one of our gardens just kind of as a display thing in a corner or something like that. It looks pretty neat. So overall, I think we did really good. You know, I'm going to pick out the best of the best out of after we're done all of this bottle digging and build myself a little collection and the rest I'll just give away and sell if any of it have any value. But pretty fun time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.